In today's video, we will go through the events of 2016's horror thriller film, The Wailing. Spoilers ahead, you have been warned. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment on what your favorite part was, and subscribe to our channel for more. The movie starts in a small village of Guksung in South Korea. One early morning, police officer Chung go -oh wakes up and leaves to investigate a strange murder case. He reaches the crime scene and sees the murderer wounded and covered in blood. He is sitting outside the house, handcuffed. Chung go -oh sees two dead bodies brutally murdered. One police officer tells him that the murdered man was killed somewhere and dragged later to the house. The murderer looks like he suffered from some infectious disease and has rashes all over his body. Chung go -oh and the team soon go to a shed near the house. They see the place covered in blood and declare it the ordinal murder spot. The place has many candles lit around, indicating some kind of ritual. A mysterious disease breaks out in the village. It causes rashes throughout the body, then makes the villagers violently murder their families as their eyes glow red. One day, Officer Junko O's partner relays gossip that a Japanese stranger who lives in a secluded house in the mountains hosts an evil spirit and started this illness in the village. But Junko O thinks that some species of poisonous wild mushroom is the cause of the illness. Over a few days, numerous other deaths occur due to the infection. One night, Chung Guo -oh is called to a crime scene of a house burning down. While investigating, he is attacked by some infected people but is saved by other officers. The other day, a woman was seen hanging on a tree. Chung Guo -oh investigates the case. One of the officers tells him that the husband is the suspect. Later, Chung Guo -oh's partner calls him in his restaurant and tells him that the Japanese guy he talked about earlier tried to molest a dead woman by the river. Then the dead woman got crazy and started going out naked in the middle of the night and attacking whoever she encountered. She also had infectious rashes and she was the one who attacked Chung Guo -oh in the burnt house earlier. Chung Guo -oh now believes that the Japanese guy has something to do with the spreading of the illness. While he is at the crime scene of the hung woman, a strange girl named Mu Myung keeps throwing stones at Chung Guo. -oh. She enters the crime scene and shows him the murder spot inside the house. The girl informs him that the Japanese stranger infected the woman and is actually a ghost. She warns Chung Guo -oh to be aware of him. He calls his partner to come and see the girl, but all of a sudden the girl disappears. Chung Guo -oh's senior officer pressurizes him and his partner to find some lead in the case. A local hunter tells Chung Guo -oh that he has seen a half-naked Japanese stranger eating a deer with glowing red eyes in the mountain forest. Chung Guo -oh is unsettled as he has had dreams about the exact stranger. Later that day, Chung Guo -oh and his partner visit the stranger's place. The local hunter shows them the way. Suddenly, it starts raining and the hunter leaves them by themselves. As he tries to leave, lightning strikes and hits him. Chung Guo -oh and his partner take him to the hospital. In the hospital, a patient starts getting violent from the infection. Chung Guo -oh sees similar rashes on his body too. The patient dies soon after, bleeding from the mouth. That night, Chung Guo -oh's daughter Hyo Jin gets sick and starts screaming in her sleep. She describes a horrifying dream about a strange man and she cries. The following day, Chung Guo -oh's mother suspects that something is wrong with Hyo Jin. She tells him that she will call a shaman and leaves to find him. Chung Guo -oh then meets his partner, who brings a deacon who can understand Japanese. They soon leave to find the Japanese man in the mountains. They arrive at his house, but do not find the man there. They then investigate the house. Chung Guo -oh breaks into a room and sees candles lit around it. It looks like a ritual took place in the room. Meanwhile, his partner finds photographs of all the infected people hidden in the cupboard. Suddenly, the deacon is attacked by the guard dog of the house. Chung Guo -oh pulls him and protects him. The dog frees itself and attacks them both. They hide inside the house and block the entrance as the dog attacks them fiercely. Soon, the Japanese man arrives and calms the dog. The deacon asks forgiveness from the Japanese man and the three leave the house. While driving back, Chung Guo -oh asks his partner about what he saw in the house. He tells him about the pictures of all the infected people in his house. He also tells him that the strange man had some belongings of all the infected people. He then hands Chung Guo -oh a shoe he found in the house. It is his daughter's. Chung Guo -oh heads home and asks Hyo Jin if she lost a shoe recently. He shows her the shoe that his partner found and asks her if she met a Japanese man. She nods her head. He asks her to tell him what she did when she met him. She screams that there's nothing serious and leaves. 
That night, Chung Guo finds strange drawings in his daughter's notebook. He checks on her and notices rashes on her body. Hyo Jin wakes up and starts screaming at him. She gets sick and starts showing the symptoms of the infection. The next morning, in great anger, Chung Guo storms to the deacon and they head to the Japanese man's house. Chung Guo checks the house and finds the photos and the belongings have been burned. He asks the man about the photos and stuff that was there earlier. He refuses to acknowledge it at first, but then tells him that he burned them. Chung Guo asks what his purpose is and threatens the old man about what he did with his daughter. He asks him to leave the village peacefully. Infuriated, he destroys the stranger's ritual room and kills the dog when it attacks him, ordering the stranger to leave the village in three days. The next day, Chung Guo's mother finds the dead dog hanging in front of their house. She cries and calls him. He cannot get up as his body is weak from his fight with the dog the other day. Suddenly, they find Hyo Jin covered in blood. She has stabbed a woman. Soon, the police arrive at Chung Guo's house. Troubled by the condition of Hyo Jin, Chung Guo's mother calls a shaman, Yi Kuang, to treat her. He says that the strange man is not a person, but the strongest ghost he has ever seen. Many people all over the village lose their lives. The next day, as Yi Kuang performs his ritual to exorcise the demon, the Japanese man also performs his rituals in his house. Yi Kuang performs his rituals, jumps and dances over the fire and sacrifices hens. As he stabs the effigy, both Hyo Jin and the strange Japanese man start screaming in pain and fall unconscious. The Japanese man struggles and drags himself outside the house. Seeing his daughter in pain, Chung Guo interrupts the ritual and takes her to a hospital instead. Meanwhile, the Japanese man regains his consciousness as soon as the ritual stops. That night, the deacon suggests Chung Guo go see the pastor. The two visit the church, but the pastor suggests Chung Guo not to believe in the ghost's story and just believe in the doctors. The following day, the Japanese man runs away. Meanwhile, Chung Guo gathers his friends to hunt down the Japanese stranger, believing that he is responsible for the disease and murders. They collect their weapons and head towards his home. When they reach his house, they search for him all around but cannot find him anywhere. Suddenly, Chung Guo and his friends are attacked by an infected man. They all fight against him. The infected person takes a bite of the deacon's face and he screams in pain. They hit him with a crowbar and spade. Suddenly, his bones start cracking automatically and he falls to the ground dead. One of Chung Guo's friends spots the Japanese stranger looking at them from the woods. They all run after him and chase him through the forest. The man struggles to breathe while running from them. He falls and gets injured. Suddenly, Chung Guo and his friends reach a dead end on a cliff. Chung Guo cries, saying that he needs to find the Japanese man and save his daughter from him. The Japanese man dangles on the cliff to hide, but cannot hold much longer. He falls to the ground, and Chung Guo's friends hear a noise, but don't see him. The Japanese man whimpers in pain. Unable to find the strange man in the woods, Chung Guo and his friends drive back. It starts raining, and the car slips on the road when they nearly hit a truck approaching them. Chung Guo gets out of their vehicle with a head injury. He sees the Japanese man lying on the road. He realizes that he hit him with the vehicle. Chung Guo and his friends push the dead body off the cliff as Mu Myung watches them from the hill. Chung Guo then immediately returns to the hospital to his daughter. Her condition has seemingly improved. He asks her if she is okay, hugs her, and they both cry. Yi Kuang suspects that they killed the wrong person and tries contacting Chung Guo, but he doesn't answer. That night, Chung Guo's partner gets infected and kills his wife. The shaman drives to Chung Guo's, but on his way, he encounters Mu Myung. He suddenly starts bleeding from his mouth and vomits. He runs from her to his house and starts a protection ritual. Suddenly, a crow enters his house and falls dead. Yi Kuang drives to Chung Guo's. He hallucinates a hailstorm as he drives. He gets out of his car but finds nothing. He breathes heavily and immediately calls Chung Guo and informs him about Mu Myung being the real demon. Chung Guo looks for his daughter but finds her missing from her bed. He then finds Mu Myung near his house. Chung Guo asks her to return his daughter and confronts her for being the ghost. But she insists that the ghost of the Japanese stranger infected her. She requests Chung Guo to believe her. She also tells him that she had set a trap for the demon and it will not work if Chung Guo goes back to the house. Chung Guo asks her who she is, and she answers that she is trying to save his daughter. 
Sometime later, Hyo Jin returns home and enters without talking to anyone and starts eating a lot of food. Meanwhile, the deacon goes looking for the Japanese man. He reaches a cave and encounters the still alive Japanese stranger performing his rituals. The deacon asks the Japanese man if he is a demon. Soon, Yi Kuang calls Chung Guo and tells him not to believe Mu Myung, while she in turn tells him Yi Kuang is actually in league with the real demon. The deacon asks the strange man to tell him who he is if he is not the demon. Meanwhile, Chung Guo asks Mu Myung why all of this is happening. She vaguely tells him, the father of the daughter sinned and even tried to kill. Chung Guo in despair runs to the house to save his family. Mu Myung suddenly grabs him and asks him not to go and screams as her body slowly turns white. When Chung Guo enters the house crossing the threshold, the floral trap fades dead. He finds blood splattered all over the house and he cries as he finds his wife dead. Suddenly, Hyo Jin stands in front of him covered in blood. In the cave, the strange Japanese man takes a photo of the deacon and slowly turns into a crippled demon with red eyes. Back at the house, Chung Guo is stabbed by his daughter. Outside the house sits Mu Myung. As it starts to rain, Yi Kuang arrives at Chung Guo's house in his car. He enters the house and clicks photo of all the dead members of Chung Guo's family. While returning to his car, he unintentionally drops a box filled with photos of all the other infected victims. The movie ends as Chung Guo lies dying in his home. He remembers happier times with his daughter and assures her he will protect her. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and comment on the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel to see more of these movie summaries.